Today I'm meeting with Keith Stonehouse, and we're going to talk about business networking. One of the things that I do to promote my video production company is to participate in a business networking group. Now, whether you're familiar with these organizations or not, here's how they work in a nutshell. Here's you. You join a group, and the group can be 5 to 50, but ultimately, the goal is to have each member be a promotional mouthpiece for your business, and you in turn agree to promote each of the members in that group and their businesses. So when you are networking, a lot of times it's good to do one-on-ones or one-to-ones. And what that is, is you meet with someone and you find out what they do and they find out what you do. And you usually you do that in a coffee house or a place like this, a restaurant. Today I'm meeting one-on-one with Keith Stonehouse. In addition to being president of the LBN Rochester chapter, he has also started, maintained, and continues to flourish a group called Masterminds. It's a networking group for real estate agents. Today, we're talking to Keith Stonehouse. Hey, did you hear about the new Facebook Live? No, I love the Facebook Live. You could do it right now? I could do it right now. Hey, why not? <laughs> Let's put that out there. It's brand new. You can go live on Facebook. This is a game yeah, changer. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. A lot of times I watch uh, Rup Raj on uh, Fox 2 News and uh, ask him questions about things that are happening in the news from this uh, Facebook Live. Oh, look at Mike Lord. I feel like I'm on an adventure. Yeah, Mike, welcome to the adventure. We got someone watching up. Yeah, very cool. That's live video, people. Okay, while Keith composes himself, I want to point out that the number one goal for any business involved with a networking group is and always will be about getting the most referrals you can. Sales are the most important thing in this business, and we're going to work closer together than we have in the past in order to get more sales. So we're trying to determine the difference between a referral, a lead, and crap. Could you could you break that down for us? A referral is is something that's thought of, thought out, something that's researched, something that somebody put some time and effort into. So if somebody asks for a dentist because they want to do their accounting, and I know my dentist, and I come into my dentist, or I call my dentist, or I email my dentist, and I say, hey, I, uh, this guy Dave wants to talk to you. Um, he does accounting. Uh, would you be willing to talk to him about accounting for a couple minutes? And he says, yeah, sure, that'd be great. Have him call me on Thursday. That's a strong referral. So what is a lead? A lead is uh, when you give, uh, so that person's looking to meet a dentist and you know a dentist and you go into your database and give them the contact information to that person in your networking group but you didn't ask the dentist if they could reach out, if they needed their services, uh, what a good time is for them to contact them and you just get, hand them over either their business card or you fill out a slip of their contact info. That's a lead. It's a 50-50 shot in the dark. Who knows? And crap. What does crap look like? Well, crap is even worse. Crap is when I went jogging and I saw a real estate sign, so I wrote the realtor's name down and their company down for you. You should call this person because I'm looking to meet real estate agents. And I would ask the person who gave me that in my group, well, do you know this person? No. I just saw it when I was jogging in my subdivision, they're selling their house. You asked me for real estate agents. That's crap. None of these prospects seem much good. Well, they're the best I've got, so I'll stay with them. Okay, so assuming your group is a good one and passes nothing but the very best Glen Gary leads, what happens next? So if I'm giving you a referral, my first responsibility is to make sure that I've warmed that up for you. So the person or the company or whatever the situation is that I'm giving, they understand you're going to be calling them or emailing them. They understand the time and your preface of why you're calling, what you're selling, what service you're offering, but it's also the follow-up. And that's another part that people forget. Again, networking. You have to work at this to make sure it's a solid referral. Because you're not only helping your referral partner, you're helping that person that you're connecting them to. What's the responsibility of the person getting the referral? Getting the referral, I think, again, the time frame is completely different with each type of referral situation, circumstance, business, whatever it is, service being provided on when you reach out to that person. Maybe it's that same day. 
Maybe it's a week, maybe it's three days, whatever it is. But that person has to reach out right away because if I'm giving a referral, I'm going to follow up right away with uh, John Smith from the golf course that I'm referring you to and say, hey, Ron's going to be calling you on Thursday, just want to let you know. You better call on Thursday because not only does it make me look bad, but it makes you look bad. And that's the thing we want to avoid. No one likes to look bad. All right, can someone help him out there? Can someone help him out there? Really? You're just going to walk away? Okay, Keith, bottom line. What should a business networker reasonably expect to get out of a good group? You have to understand when you're networking that not everyone in this group or not everyone in the in the room or not at this event are all to the level that you, you may be at. You want the people that are going to be committed for a long time and put in the work. You don't have to write 80 referrals in every meeting that you go to, but if you wrote one or two or three strong ones every meeting like that, that'd be a huge success. I think you've got what it takes. You joined us with a fine reputation as a salesman in other lines. I want to get started just as soon as I can, too. Do I start selling right away? I want to thank Keith for joining me, and I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking the link below. Also, you can check out more of my work at ronrobinsonstudios.com. Thanks for watching. Now go forth and prosper. Go do something. <laughs> Is that one? <laughs> no? No? Isn't it good? No. Alright. The beauty of live.